How's it going guys, Zara here. So we unfortunately got some, well, not very good news. And in terms of reliability, it is quite, well, credible as well. So I wanna read out this little article from Tom Henderson himself. It's regarding of the report that we have learned from the Digital Foundry when they did a little bit, well, a research, a little bit of thinking ring and also just discussion on its own. So GTA 6 won't run at 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5 Pro, tech experts predict. Tech experts and Digital Foundry founder Rich Lead Better has said that people shouldn't expect GTA 6 to run at 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Lead Better's comments come following Insider Gaming's exclusive reports on the PlayStation 5 Pro specs, which revealed that the CPU of the Pro will be identical to the status system with a 10% increase in GHZ. Speaking on this special edition of the Digital Foundry Direct, Lead Better said all of the sort of the conjectures that, hey, this is going to be a great box for Grand Theft Auto 6, we will be able to run that at 60 frames per second unless there's some magical CPU stuff that being done by Rockstar. I suggest that's not going to happen. An extra 10% on clocks isn't really going to do much at all. The Pro has a high CPU frequency mode, which takes the CPU to 3.85 GHz, a 10% increase over the standard console, which is unlikely to have a major effect on the frames per second performance. But as a co-host Alexander uh, Bataglia points out that that necessarily won't be the case for all of the games. So by lead better's comments at least, we should really be expecting GTA 6 to run at higher frames per second on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Unless, of course, Rockstar has been able to do something magical on the PS5 Pro, though. The game will look better thanks to the console's better GPU, but what that will look like remains to be seen. Insider Gaming understands that the PlayStation 5 Pro is targeting a tentative holiday 2024 release, but that target has been put into question due to the console's lack of first-party games. Genuinely speaking, I am quite disappointed to hear about this. I have actually listened through, well, more or less of a podcast and a discussion regarding this from Digital Foundry themselves as well, related to the GTA 6 being 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro. And on top of that, if you actually have to logically think about this, it kind of makes sense. Right, in terms of the specs, it totally makes sense. I understand that 10% of increase isn't gonna do much, if at all, for the availability to have your ginormous open world game to be played as a 60 FPS on one console platform. And as such, keep your expectations in check. Now, relating towards the other piece of information that I think is also kind of logical to expect this, is related to, well, to the game itself. Why in a world would Rockstar make one platform be have a better advantage comparing to the other. As an example, with the PS5 having an ability to play 60 FPS on their same game, right? But on Xbox, you cannot do that since Xbox doesn't have a pro variant. Now, at the moment, we do not know if they even will have a pro variant as of the recording of this video, but still, I kind of doubt that they will compromise on one or the other. And so instead, I think that they actually would want to make the same game to be playable and have all the bells and whistles on both of the platforms. And so they would not want to make these sorts of compromises of one having a 60 FPS while the other having none of that. It's actually kind of funny to see how we have made such big steps towards the specs and the bumps of upgrades on the pro variant of the PlayStation 5 specifically, and yet it's still being bottlenecked. Well, at least to an extent that there's still some limitations. It really is disappointing, isn't it? But again, we cannot forget that games are getting longer to be made. And of course, this means the scope are getting larger and they're getting a lot more beautiful. This means they're gonna be a lot more intensive in size and as well as the specs that you require. And as such, there are things that just simply not gonna be possible and why we're still sometimes occasionally see games that are only playable on 30 FPS. Thankfully though, it seems to be at the 60 FPS being a norm, thank God, but Rockstar should really consider of having at least an option on both Xbox and PlayStation, having an option to have a 60 FPS 
But again, that kind of contradicts what I've just mentioned. If PlayStation only one's going to have a pro version, this means that even though you have an option of having to play the game at 60 FPS, a lot more people are just gonna choose the PlayStation 5 Pro instead of an Xbox, and that would be a very big detriment for an Xbox. And Rockstar, I don't think they're gonna put a lot more time and effort just specifically on one platform, even though they're not gonna get the major advantage one or the other. Unless, of course, if, you know, PlayStation, Sony made an extra just a payment or whatnot for Rockstar to make sure that their game runs best on PlayStation or some kind of exclusivity deal. I doubt it that we'll see an exclusivity deal being in a 60 FPS on PlayStation instead of an Xbox. Actually, I don't. was there ever a thing like that as well? Maybe there's some ways that did happen, but I don't believe it happened due to the exclusivity rights that having 60 FPS on one platform while 30 on the other. Now, sure, there are things like that that did happen, but in terms of the Rockstar and, you know, Take-Two Interactive, I doubt it that they will go with this kind of direction. In some ways, it is disappointing, but yet also kind of was, well, inevitable to see a similar thing that you should expect from Xbox and PlayStation. It kind of makes you think as well, is Xbox the ones that are actually limiting the consoles? Because Xbox Series S is the biggest bottleneck uh, console of all the consoles that we have now that unfortunately the developers have to constantly compromise on making sure that their big games can be played on Series S. But because of this as well, well, Series S is very, very underpowered console comparing to the Series X, PlayStation 5 and of course the upcoming PS5 Pro. Well, anyway, that's just my thoughts. Do let me know what you think about the whole discussion and relating to the 60 FPS, to Grand Auto 6, PS5 Pro, maybe a, a could be possibility of coming on the Xbox Pro variant as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.